Okay, this is going to be a quick video, just a overview of how this thing works. Um, I'm going to push the single button in the back of the system, which turns it on, goes right into computer mode, well, Neo Geo mode, and from computer mode, <clears throat> you see the normal PC stuff load up here, and instantly goes into Neo Geo Advanced Entertainment System mode. So you don't even have to worry about uh, messing with any menus. You don't need a mouse. You don't need a keyboard. All you need is the buttons which are in front of you. From there, it goes into loading the front end. The front end on this is Maximus Arcade. Loads that up real quick because that's the only emulator running on it. go. On the game selection screen it plays uh, Neo Geo music. Some of them are from the carts, some of them are from uh, Neo Geo CDs, but uh, it's set up to play a random few uh, songs on there, so it's kind of nice. Anyways, here's the top. You can scroll down by going left or right. Left or right skips a lot straight up and down goes each individual one and C and D will go up and down based off the letter in the alphabet see we're on E go F G H so on anyways simply go through the menu system find a game you want to play push A to start it Start. Since this has the universe BIOS on there, all you do is press credit and start at the same time. You go in here, give yourself unlimited lives, invisibility, maximum power up, maximum speed, maximum pod power. I mean, all this stuff. Go back out to the game and just kill everybody. Of course, some of those things kind of do a little more than they should the no maximum mile missile fire limit is kind of hard on the system with all the sprites going at once but uh, in either way it's still really impressive you got all your speed up and everything to exit the game just hit exit the game just hit game select it takes you back to the main menu Pick a different game, same thing, A to start, got the universe BIOS, always, same thing, universe BIOS is different in every game, this one, infinite time, you can play as special characters, infinite energy, things like that, fighting games is kind of stupid, cheat on it, because uh, if you can't beat somebody, then you need to practice more. That's my opinion on it. Some people just want to see what the ending looks like and don't really care. But uh, yeah, all of it runs just like uh, regular software. play just like uh, you'd expect them to. All the metal slugs and stuff. I mean, I'll go through it kind of slow here to show you. Pretty much has every game for the uh, AES, MBS 
system, um, minus like the quiz games or the Mahjong games, things like that, um, or just like the kind of obscure ones like the irritating maze and uh, things like that. I mean, pretty much anything that you want to play is going to be on here. to it but it does exactly what uh, you want it to and then uh, there's a volume control in one of the little vent holes in the back so you can change the, the volume of course so Volume control is easy to get to because uh, sometimes you want to really hear the music on the game. Sometimes people want to sleep or just are irritated. So, you know, volume control is always something good. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Thing runs great. Uh, one button turns it on, one button turns it off. Um, the way it's shelled up, I mean, you don't have to worry about, you know, how most computers you have to make sure you sort of park them before you turn them off. You can't just basically, you know, pull the plug on and turn them off. Um, you don't want to do that with this. You don't want to just unplug it to turn it off. You always want to push the power button first, let it fully shut down, and then unplug it if you were to move it someplace. But, uh, I mean, the load up and the turn down time is really quick because basically I'm going to turn it off. You can do it in the middle of the game. It doesn't hurt anything. Just hit the button, and just a couple seconds, you'll hear the fan turn off. Once the fan's turned off and you see it say no signal, that means it's totally shut down, and you can unplug it and move it to a different room or whatever you need to do. But then again, turn it back on, same thing. Push of a single button, and the total boot up sequence time on it. Uh, really quick since the basically the PC that's running all this doesn't have to go through so many different programs and stuff at the startup the startup of this uh, machine doesn't take that long at all basically running Windows XP and uh, I believe the name of the program is WinKWax or I mean I could be saying it wrong but uh, I'm using that as the uh, Neo Geo emulator on here since it's like preferred for Neo Geo and CPS 1, 2 and things like that so but it goes right into it you don't have to do a thing one button turned it on takes you right where you need to be within like a minute and you're right back to the games right where you wanted to be anyways thanks for checking this out uh, let me know what you think thanks